This is an automatic transmission. You know your car, for example, this Subaru or any regular car, everything is in front. In other words, the traction is over there in front. I don't have traction on the rear. Uh, in that Land Rover that we checked a couple of minutes ago, I have traction in the rear, traction in, in, in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, in my Ford F-150, I only have traction in the rear because I have the transmission, I have the drive shaft, and I have the differential. Oh, this one is for a regular car with all the traction in front. And uh, if you know, in that regular car, the engine is like this, and the transmission like this, and the transmission have the ability to uh, send one chaff for this wheel and other chaff for this wheel. Look at this. This is the transmission. What is this? Torper. The uh, torque uh, converter. Torque and converter. the torque converter will be bolted on the flywheel of the engine. Ah, the engine will be here. Yeah. That's okay? Yes. Ah, look at this. And I have, and I have here one chaff for this wheel mm -hmm. and other chaff here for the other wheel. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Ah, this is the differential. This this section is the differential, and this is the transmission. Front wheel drive. No. Is that a front? This wheel is drive? only front. It's with front two chaps, one drive shaft for this wheel, and other uh, drive shaft for the other wheel. And uh, the trans the engine is here, and this is the transmission, and this is the difference. Nice, no? I have the differential outside. Yeah, we are going to check that one. Uh, what about that transmission? What type of transmission is that? Manual, Manual transmission. Manual. Here, forward, tan, tan, and this is the input shaft of the transmission. What element engage over there? Input shaft. What? what? What element engage over there and is engaged always here with those splines? This manual transmission, input shaft of the transmission. The input shaft of the transmission is together with the? Clutch? What part of the clutch? Uh, fr friction. The friction uh, discs. The friction discs is entering here. Friction. Ah, the pressure plate is bolted on the flywheel of the engine. This oh, is the manual transmission. Friction. That's okay. Friction. And here in the rear is connected with the Traction. with the drive shaft Traction. and the differential. Manual transmission, automatic transmission, regular transmission, automatic. Good. Look, here in this corner of the engine, I have what? In this corner? Starter. The uh, start motor. I remove the start motor and I have access when I move it this to this ball, this ball, and this ball. When I remove it, I separate a little. I put this piece of metal to avoid that the, yeah. the torque converter drops when I remove it. That'll make a mess. Yeah? Now we are going to check the differential. <laughs> But uh, here, we have uh, one gear here, other gear here, in permanent contact with this. This, this one is rotating. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the other one. This is good, but uh, I have another one uh, with the gears here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the gear, this is pretty similar to the lower unit, uh, the gears of the lower unit. Let's go, we check the, the, the gears of the lower unit. Like we have on the problem. table, no, Danny? Yeah, I have problem. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, come on. Explain that. Alright, so this is basically on a lower unit, okay? Yes, pinion gear. So when your engine's running, this is always rotating, okay? And the shaft doesn't rotate until the clutch dog, here's the clutch dog, engages which gear it wants. Uh -huh. you want forward, forward reverse, reverse, depending on what you want, okay? Remember when I told you the engine has a shift interrupt switch? That's to slow the speed down of the of the of the pinion gear. Mm -hmm. So that way it slows this down enough that when you engage it doesn't slam into the into the clutch dog here, split rope. But this is a, this is a counter rotation, so this is gonna split shaft. So you see on the on the on the clutch, there's sharp edges, right? And mm -hmm. you can see a little bit here, a little bit of wear on them, is because if either a couple things, either the shift, the shifting cable is not aligned properly, or remember I was telling you the guys going, eh, you're supposed to just put it in gear, it'll eat these. These corners off. Yeah. When you eat those corners off, 
you wear the corners off on this one. This one's actually pretty bad. Look at if you want to look at that. That one's a pretty bad one right there. You this. see how it's rounded? Mm -hmm. It's rounded. Uh, round, it's because round. the people don't engage hard. This is actually off a of, uh, 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 no. gear. Okay, okay. But they're all, this is a split shaft. This is a counter. So not all of them are split shaft. Only the counter rotation has the split shaft. There's more moving mechanical parts on a counter rotating engine. Okay. This one here also has a split shaft here because everyone designed it that you can change out the shafts lengths to 25, 20, 30 inch without taking the lower unit apart. Mm -hmm. And Mercury, if you want to change it to a 30 inch shaft, you have to take it apart, put a whole new, shim it, re-shim it again. Everyone was smart on that part. You can do a swap, you can swap out the shafts without taking the lower unit apart. But the clutch dog is no different than you just seen there. You see the clock, the duck clutch mm -hmm. for forward and reverse. In the manual transmission, it's exactly the same, guys. Look at this. Look, you have third gear and fourth gear. Ah, now with the clock. I need a man. Ah, I engaged that one. And now this one is together with the chop. You see? Together with the chop. Mm -hmm. And this one is free, and this one is free, and this one is free, and this one is free. Only that one. Ah, if I move it and I remove this one, ah, now this is free. And I can engage that one. The same with this and this. No, you understand? Nice, no? Nice this thing, is the manual transmission. The nice thing about the manual transmission compared to like an onboard transmission, this actually has a synchronizing gear, so oh, it doesn't, the synchronizer. doesn't bang like, uh, like on the onboard. They no. don't have a synchronizing the gear. The synchronizers are conic. Conic and is in copper. Ah, that one help, help with, with that. The because transition. when you neutralize the transmission, when you apply the clutch pedal, and when you apply the cost, the input shaft of the transmission is free with respect to the crankshaft of the engine. But continue rotating by inertia, by the momentum. Uh, this is why if you try to engage that one, it's hard. But uh, with those synchronizers, enter easily. Mm -hmm. How is the symptom that the, the synchronizers are rounded or, or where? It doesn't go in the gear easily. Yeah, yeah the clutch is applied, the transmission is free, but it's difficult pass That's because good. those copper synchronizers those synchronizers are gone. You need to open the transmission and replace the synchronizers. <laughs>